All right, so I recently heard this little snippet of Joe Biden and Poroshenko. Here, take a listen. Overdrive to clean up loose ends. November 16, 2016, two weeks after Donald Trump's victory, Joe Biden is on the phone with Poroshenko. His voice tenser now than before. This is getting very, very close. What I don't want to have happen, I don't want Trump to get in the position where he thinks he's about to buy onto a politics where the financial system is going to collapse and he's going to be looked to to pour more money into Ukraine. That's how he'll think about it before he gets sophisticated enough to know the detail. In other words, Biden does not want Ukraine asking for more money from Trump. Doing so would cause Trump to look into the details. So anything you can do to push the, the, the private bank uh, um, to closure so that the IMF loan comes forward, I would respectfully suggest is critically important to your economic as well as physical security. Critically important. Okay, so first off, economic security. Because Ukraine gets money from the states. So if you don't do as I say, you won't get any money. Biden's already on record. And what I mean by record, there's actually a video out of Biden gloating about getting a Ukrainian prosecutor fired by with threatening to withhold a billion dollars. You know what? I'll pop that video in too. So no, I said, I'm not going to, we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. Then he moves on to physical security. Like, what does he mean by that? Does he mean Ukraine's physical security? I.e., if he doesn't play ball, something physically bad will happen to Ukraine? Or is he talking about uh, the leader of Ukraine's physical safety? I.e., is he threatening a foreign leader? And finally, he talks about how he doesn't want Trump looking into it. Well, yeah, because Trump will find out all the corruption. And I believe this is where the term D.C. swamp comes in because it's full of swampy politicians who are corrupt and will use their positions of power to enrich themselves. I mean, don't get it twisted. All politicians are like that. They're trying to enrich themselves. But anyway, that's it for my little ramble. Take care. And I'll put the links in the box.